And with many countries tackling the issue of climate change and aiming to transition towards a cleaner and greener energy, the push for sustainable solutions could be solved with a circular economy model. Metro Globe's Ari Widodo has the full story. Every year, humans consume more than what the Earth can naturally regenerate. According to the World Economic Forum, human consumption now requires the natural resources of 1.75 worlds instead of a single one. And half of this is just for food. Most of the resources in demand end up as waste, of which more than 2 billion tons is generated every year. Currently, the linear economic model has rapidly developed society in a short period of time. However, the consequences include environmental pollution among industrial areas and inequality among low-income communities, which is why transitioning towards a circular economy that focuses on rebuilding the relationship with resources and recycling can create a more sustainable future that can help countries reach carbon neutrality. Um, circular economy is this concept of like zero waste. How do we keep materials in use um, for as long as possible through reusing, you know, refilling, repairing, recycling um, to minimize our consumption of the precious, you know, natural resources. By 2040, the Asia-Pacific region is the world's most vulnerable region to climate change's impact and is expected to drive up 40 percent of the world's consumption value, which is why many startups are incorporating an innovative ecosystem to create circular solutions that support net zero targets. In Indonesia, one digital waste management startup, Duitin, has created a platform for individuals and businesses to encourage recycling, track waste, and learn more about their sustainability footprint. In short, uh, we see that Duitin is a digital platform that's actually actually uh, that offers easy, reliable, and hassle-free uh, recycling services for individuals and also businesses that supports and empowers the informal waste sectors uh, through the gig economy. So what our platform is like, it's, it's like an Uber or a Grab where there's a driver and a rider. So we have uh, a picker, a waste, informal waste sector that we onboard in our platform to be able to uh, uh, get an order from the uh, from the households or even businesses wherever they are in our coverage area. Duitin is part of the Google for Startups Accelerators program, which is a 10-week virtual program that aims to solve challenges in the industry and learn how to grow the business. And it's not just the private sector. The Indonesian government's Ministry of Communication and Technology have also created a similar accelerator program, Hub.id, which focuses on enabling post-seed local Indonesian startups to scale regionally, facilitate a strong ecosystem for collaborative partnerships and new opportunities. For Metro Globe, I'm Audrey Widodo.